Hey, 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 hi, hi, hi. Nice to meet you. If I don't know you already, if I know you, I love you, whatever. Okay, so the last video, I'm sorry it went to 10 minutes. I tried to keep them down, but there was so much good music the year that I graduated high school and the year that I went to college and just like a lot of great stuff. Reminds me of Atlantic City, reminds me of Fairleigh Dickinson University. So that one was packed. So I'm going to try and go over some of the history from that period of time that affected my life that I remember actually experiencing. So pardon me while I change my goofy glasses and I put on the ones that I can read with. Okay. All right. Here I are. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> Okay, listen, if you just saw my first video, I'm sorry. I'm a knucklehead, and that's how I stay happy because I got a lot of stuff in my life that would probably make a lot of people unhappy. But here we are. <laughs> okay, so the year I graduated, um, we had um, the Olympics in Munich, and this was a, a big scandal because 11 Israeli af uh, excuse me, athletes were murdered by an Arab gunman. And man, this was on the top of the news for for weeks, okay? Um, okay, here's another one that is very historical, and I'm hoping they still teach about with the Watergate scandal, because five White House operatives are arrested for burglarizing the offices of the Democratic National Committee. And they've been trying to get back at us ever since. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> And that started the whole Watergate scandal. And so, like, people are all freaked out now because of this president and this presidential candidate and the ex-president. Oh, and they're also shocked about scandal. Man, they've been scandaling for, like, ever. Stop being shocked. Either accept it, get involved in politics, do something about it, or shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's from my friend Tony used to say that. Shut it down. Okay, here's a shocker for you. The year I graduated high school, the United States and the Soviet Union, okay, at the time, signed an anti-ballistic missile treaty. Okay, I'm not going to say another word. That's it. That's a fact. Okay, NASA space shuttle program was lo officially launched. Okay, United Kingdom had a minor strike. Minor, like, you know, in the mines. <laughs> Not young age kids, okay? That's in that movie, Galaxy Quest. <laughs> you gotta watch Galaxy Quest. Okay, so that was a big scandal over there because a lot of bad things happened behind that strike and a lot of politics and, you know, everybody strategizing and siding with this and siding with that. You know, same old, same old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there was a plane crash that year, and the survivors admitted to cannibalism. Not going to talk about it, but it was in the headlines, and I remember, because I went, ew. But you don't know what it's like until the plane crashes. You're stuck on the side of a mountain. <laughs> um. Okay, so they were still fighting in Ireland, too, back then. But I don't know. We don't hear about it now. I'm sure they're still anti this and anti that going on over there because it's been centuries old. You know, um, newsflash, certain people hate certain people that are very similar to them. Not going to colorize that. Just saying, they're both from the same country, but... So back then, what happened is it was called Bloody Friday and 22 bombs exploded in Belfast. Not going to say another word. Okay. Let's see. Um, and we're still in Vietnam. Hello. This is the world I grew up in. Okay, they're blowing up here, lying there, you know, sneaky government people there. And guess what? We're still in Vietnam. We're still killing Vietnamese people. Everything. You, I grew up then. You want people? Come on. You guys that are now, I love you, but you don't have the corner on crazy, Okay. We kind of had a little bit of our own corner. And back in my mother's time, they had Nazis and lights out. And in my grandmother's time, on and on back. So, like, if you start to study stuff, there's sort of a cycle. And I guess that's why I'm sharing this, because this is where I came in. Okay, so anti-war demonstrators drew 100,000 demonstrators in different U.S. cities. This was big news. 
This was huge news. Like everybody is, I still have demonstrations, still tear down stuff, still do this, still do that. Okay. All right. So, oh, cool thing I looked up, and I think you guys will like this. How are we? We're five minutes. Okay. So, um, the average cost. This is the year I graduated high school. The average cost of a new house, twenty-seven thousand dollars. What's going on? Now they're four and five hundred thousand dollar houses. Doing <laughs> okay. Gasoline in the year I graduated from high school was fifty-five cents a gallon. Okay, you could drive a pretty long way on a buck, baby. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Kodak came out with their little pocket camera, and I didn't have one that year, but I think I got one the following year. Wrangler jeans were twelve bucks. This is good stuff, man. I'm telling you. Um, a frisbee cost ninety four cents. Thought that was notable. And ground beef ninety eight cents a pound. <laughs> Hellman's mayonnaise, a buck thirty nine. You know the regular size jar? It's like five, six bucks now. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh, a Ford Pinto, which was maybe the O'Connor box back then, but still it was two grand. Two thousand seventy eight dollars. Okay, let's see. I'm just flipping through. Okay, popular films that year. The Godfather. I never forget when I saw the scene where the guy woke up with the horse head. It was like, he, he woke up and it, the sheets were wet and he's like, what is this? And he opens it and he was a director of, of, of some movie in Hollywood. And guess what? Somebody got the part they were supposed to get. Duh. Now, they want to get all upset about these directors now doing all the things. This has been going on. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not shocked. I'm not cynical. I just get it, man. You live through this stuff and you get it. Okay, the Poseidon Adventure. And then a ship turns upside down and they rescue him from the bottom of the keel. Where's the watch? Really good old actors in it. Really, like, Shelley Winters, one of my favorite actresses of that time era. Academy Award winning. I don't know if she won the award, but she should have because she was a, a, excellent. And here's a funny movie for you. Deliverance. Da -da 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 -da. That, so we got a ship sinking. We got um, guys in um, Kentucky rafting, getting rafted in another way. Um, <laughs> and you got the Godfather putting a gun to people's heads to get a movie part. Okay, so that was that. TV movies. Monty Python's Flying Circus. It was crazy everywhere. If you don't watch crazy in reality, you can check out and watch crazy in crazy land. So, right, people wonder why us old people are the way we are. Woo! And I, I don't remember what year more came out. Might have been another following year. I'll probably go over that. Uh, let's see. The Brady Bunch was a popular show. Hawaii Five-0. Good show. Good show. Okay. Who was born this year? I just looked up a few that you might know. The year I graduated high school, Gwyneth Paltrow was born. And if you say she's old now, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> uh, let's see. There was earthquakes that year. Um, let's see. Lots of earthquakes that year. We talked about Bloody Friday, Bloody Sunday. Cath unarmed Catholic protesters are gunned down by the British Army on Bloody Sunday. Same year. They're all fighting. They're just, they're fighting. Okay? And they come from the same neighborhood. Hello? Okay? So, like, it doesn't require a different neighborhood for people to fight. Like, we don't have to go here to find an enemy. They're right next door. Okay, that's me. I'm going to shut up. I'm getting on my soapbox. <laughs> all right, this one's getting long, too. Oh, last thing I want to talk about. Who was the president the year I graduated high school? Richard Nixon, of course, that's about to change. <laughs> and he visits China. And the last thing I'm going to end on is Mark Spitz, the famous swimmer who in the Olympics of that year won seven gold medals. And then later he had to go into recovery. Duh! <laughs> that's what I grew up with the year I graduated. All right, guys, I'm going to do a couple more because these are fun.